Hello everybody, Lowinger here, and today I will be showing you the monkey sub. <laughs> that was just random. Me doing just randomly this. So the first route we're doing is the energizer. So the normal monkey sub shoots like darts that I guess home into balloons. Yeah, they home into balloons. Yeah, they ho they home into balloons, and so yeah, they can pop up to two balloons. That's their maximum pierce. They do one layer of damage. And so yeah. So the first upgrade is longer range. Basically allows it to see further away. Second, I should put this away from the entrance. Second one is advanced intel. It allows it to see Anywhere on the map where another monkey is. So, if I put a glue gunner up here, keep in mind from my previous videos, it can't do anything. It'll shoot where that monkey can see. It can shoot anywhere in the radius of other monkeys. So, the next one, the next upgrade is submerge and support. It allows it to reveal camos that are within its radius. But it does it super slow. And reduce the ability of nearby water based monkeys by 15%. And as you've seen there, it does not attack unless you unmerge it. I guess that's how you say it. That's probably not how you say it, but oh well. So the next one is called the Plutonium Reactor. Submerge to detect camo, reduce, and still reduce cooldowns of water-based monkeys by 15%. And I'm pretty sure it can also pop balloons too. Yeah, it can also pop balloons. And now the Energizer reduces cooldowns everywhere by 20%. While in the radius, heroes earn, earn XP 50% 50 50 faster and water monkeys' ability cooldowns are halved. So that's really nice to have other things within this radius. It's really good to have this Energizer. And still it reveals camos from other things and deals damage to them as well as you can see it's pretty good now moving on to the pre-attemptive strike so the first upgrade is barbed darts which allows it to pop up to four more darts up to four more balloons sorry not darts Oh no, it can pop six balloons. Oh no, five balloons. My bad. Okay, yeah, it can pop up to five balloons now. Now, heated tip darts allows it to pop frozen and lead balloons. So, if we send in some lead balloons, it will be able to pop those. It will be able so, if you place this thing down, if you get heated, heated tip darts, it's able to pop lead balloons. Ballistic. The next upgrade is ballistic missile. It will send. Oh my gosh. 
I don't know these. I like the back of my hand. Missile seeks targets over any distance, does extra damage to Moab and Ceram and ceramic damage. Yeah. It'll deal damage no matter where in the map it's at. So the next one is first strike capability. It gives you a ability which does loads of damage to any bloom that it hits. First a first strike ability A. First strike ability, a devastating missile strike on the largest balloon on the screen. Yeah, as it says, the largest balloon on the screen. So, if it's any balloon, like, even if it's a big, it'll go, it'll choose the big over any other balloon. By the way, big is this guy. Oh, wow. That ability does... A lot of damage to the big. I didn't realize that it does that much damage. Pre-temptive strike is the next upgrade. Automatically triggers Moab assassin effect whenever Moab class balloon spawns from the entrance. So it fires missiles a lot quicker than what it normally does. And whenever a Moab class spawns, if you see a red torpedo shoot up, a black and red torpedo shoot up that's the moab assassin that's where it instantly destroys the moabs but you do have to watch out for the zebra balloons cuz and the black balloons cuz it can't pop that at all unfortunately yeah so it was just fire really quickly and the ability does a heck of a lot more damage than what it normally does. So let's see if it without the ability can take out a ZOMG. Oh, a Zong. I don't know where that song is from. I just randomly started humming it. I don't know if that's humming. What I was doing is definitely not humming. But, let's see how much damage this thing now does to a big. Because the first one did loads of damage to a big. Still does loads of damage. So if you get like a couple of these, then you can take out the big. No problem. So that is the that is the pre-attemptive strike route. Next is fine one is the sub commander route. First one is Twin Guns, allows it to shoot two times fast. It allows it to shoot two times fast than what it normally shoots. So as you can see, shoots two times faster. Airburst darts, when the darts are being s are shot at the balloon, they will burst into three separate darts in midair. Sometimes, if the balloons are too close, then they won't be able to do it in time. So make sure it's not like this close to the track as this one is. <coughs> if you place it like out here on this track, then, well, like out here, make sure you get this. But yeah. So the next one is triple guns. Basically, it shoots three times fast. So if we send in a bunch of Raybo. Well, 
Yeah, it shoots three times fast, so it's actually pretty good. Armor piercing darts. It does more damage to Moab class balloons. 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 Balloons, 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 balloons. As you can see, it's dealing quite a bit of damage to Moab classes. Alright. It does not do extra damage to ceramics. I thought it did. But it does. I was thinking that it would, but it doesn't. Sub Commander. Adds extra pierce and damage to the commander and all subs in its radius. So that's pretty good as well. Oh wow, that's really good. That's incredibly good. Alright. So, hold up guys, I'll be right back. Alright, so that was the sub-commander route. Now time to show you my personal favorite routes. So, Energizer, I wouldn't actually do anything with it. I wouldn't buy any other routes. I'll just go the one route. Because if you go any other routes, if you're just going to have this sitting at the entrance, like this, then there's no point in getting other upgrades, because it's better if you keep it submerged so that it keeps doing damage and keeps really feeling camo blooms. So that's my, that's what I would do. Anyone else can do anything else. Now, pre-attemptive strike... I would say like, do twin guns and airburst, just so that it can deal extra damage to anything that comes in its radius, because anything outside of its radius, missiles are just going to keep getting shot at it. So the next one, hold up everyone, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So what I would do for the sub commander is I would do longer range, so that it can just hit anywhere on the map. But, all those are my personal ideas. But, that is the end of the video. I, if you liked it, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And, I will see you all next time. Goodbye!